time we're going to look at Phoenix is a text user interface to Feely.com, which is an online RSS reader. So let's run this sucker here. Uh, the interface is not that hard. You have, um, what was that? Uh, basically just two tabs you can go between, right? Uh, so your, your left side here, this is your categories, and your right side is your posts. Uh, basically your articles you can read and to switch between them you just hit tab not that hard um, so let's switch to a different category here you can use up and down arrow to navigate or you can use uh, vim hotkeys j and k to go up and down right uh, so let's go to cinema here and we hit enter to preview the stream here and in here um, what was that uh, you know you have your post basically now right now we're on here and you read a little article uh, summary of it, I guess. And let's say you go to the next one, go down. This Arnold Schwarzenegger one, this Conan one, whatever. And let's say I want to uh, read it within my command line web browser. I just hit uh, O, and this one open with my default um, command line web browser, which is W3M. Um, and depending on how you set it up, you know, you can actually use uh, image preview with W3M and read it from here if you want. Otherwise, um, if you want to open with your GUI, you just hit Shift and O, so it's capital instead of lowercase. So Shift and O, and basically you can read it from here if you want, right, with your default web browser. Uh, so that's that. Anything else? Um, let me show you all the hotkeys. So let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing. So you can see that the bottom here, you hit Enter to preview, A to mark, all red, U to unmark. R's to mark the current one, so on and so forth. But you know the main one I was talking about is the uh, lowercase O is to open it with your command line web browser, and capital O is to open with your GUI web browser. I really like that they have both options because I remember in Newsbeater, you can only choose one or the other. You can't have both, and that was fucking annoying. Uh, so, anyways, that is basically uh, what you can do in there. Now, the reason why I like this one is that it doesn't download all the you know your articles at the same time it just loads it as you go as opposed to newsbeater you actually have to download the whole thing or the current one or whatever i mean you can download a single one too if you want but um yeah it was that thing like newsbeater is more for like offline usage and this one is more for like uh as you go right so this one does require internet access the other one for newsbeater is more for like offline users like i said uh so that's that other stuff that I think is missing in here is that um, although they do have categories in here, I don't know if there's like a new feed in it or is empty or anything like that. Because if you use the um, you know the online website, they have this little number next to it, and you know that they have that many feed that you didn't read yet. Um, which in here they don't show you that, so that's one thing that I think is missing. Other than that, uh, it's a pretty cool program. I think I'm gonna start using it. The, you know, definitely if I'm just using from the command line, uh, otherwise I can use it, you know, with my web browser um, and all that. Anywho, depending on your usage, whether you want it offline or online, um, you can use either, you know, Feednext or, or uh, what's the other one, Newsbeater. Other stuff you want to do in here. So the first time you launch this, um, Feednext, let me give you the help page here. You actually have to do a token. Now I already set my token, but if you ever change the token in the future, you can actually use a dash C here, and it'll change the token uh, for you. So this is really what it looks like in the first place. So you do feed next uh, dash C, and basically it'll tell you to log in uh, to Feedly, right? Whatever you use to log in. So usually it's uh, Google, Facebook, or Twitter, Microsoft, whatever it is, and they'll email you. Um, what was that a, a token key something like this it'll say uh, your Feedly developer token and basically you follow that link and then they'll give you uh, your ID that you need to enter and, and uh, the password or whatever or the token key and that's how you will log in and it will save it for I think like a couple of months before it expires and after you expire you want to run you know this thing again feednext dash c and you'll get a new token that you can use uh, so that's pretty much it for uh, using Feednext in a nutshell. That's it.